Hi, my beautiful air signs. Welcome to your reading for the month of May. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. So, I was tuning into your energy and I've, I heard, what do you truly desire? And I instantly thought about this uh, series on uh, Netflix. I don't know if I can say that, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> uh, and, and then he says, like, tell me, what do you truly desire? And that's what I want to ask you, air signs. Like, what do you truly desire? I feel right now you are in a place we can really tune in to like what you like, what you don't like, what makes your heart you know beat faster your body move and your mind like activated basically i don't know that's something i'm feeling but if you are capable of really super focusing that energy like using it to guide you it could really bring you to some new passion some new um, purpose basically and really feel that strong connection to it but it can also take you all over the place and you're constantly running after all your cravings okay i'm just saying <laughs> as it is a little overspending a little bit over eating maybe you know more than your body likes to because you know you're craving things um, that's what i'm feeling almost like you know a lot of pregnant ladies with the hormones out like they have certain cravings and they're so specific if they won't get it it won't go away all right <laughs> anyways not to go too deeply into that but that's something i'm feeling so i'm going to focus on that in the reading aside from all of that i want to let you know that um i started something new on my patreon aside from the regular things I do over there I have now started something daily for the like during the week so from Monday to Friday I upload a video each and every morning um, where we tune into the daily energy where we um, you know pull the oracle card because the name is the daily oracle and um, just tune in see how we can what we can work with uh, where we need to be conscious of that day and just overall up until now I'm really getting like good positive feedback and it, you know makes me feel good because i really felt guided to do that so if you feel guided to join me over there if you feel connected to my energy and like okay i can use something daily right now this time then you can uh click on the link in the description box and it will take you to my patreon um account okay <laughs> all right so i just wanted to let you guys know that is what's happening that's uh, something I'm really excited about. I feel like a lot of energy is streaming towards that. And so, yeah, I'm going to stop talking about it now. <laughs> Let's first focus on this collective energy. What's coming in? What's the angel advice for my beautiful air signs? Gemini, Aquarius, and Libras. Libra, you guys are like doing it. All right, I really feel a change in your energy. Also for my Aquarius and Geminis, don't feel left out, but I feel in, with Libras, you guys were like waiting for something to really start and flow. I feel like Libras have been left behind a little bit. But now, like the focus is on you, like you guys are coming forward pretty strongly when I tune in, so that's good. Here we go. What is some moon arising that you have? The three of thought, that's the angel advice. Let's read it. Loving angels surround you to heal and to comfort you. The sadness you feel will fade away in time. And then you'll be able to see clearly how important this situation has been for your spiritual growth. Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so you can embrace the future with joy. Wow, that's a powerful message. So, um, some of you may have had to deal or are dealing with endings because that's, just, you know, a lot of us are going through transformation. And the power of the transformation is that you leave something behind and you step into something new. And then the part of it, you know, of letting go and releasing and trusting in something new and trusting to moving forward. Um, can come with sadness you know and come with grief there could be it could be in a form of like a relationship ending and that is sad even though you might feel like okay it's the best thing to do but it doesn't mean that not emotions and things involved and that that takes time to release yourself that and to work through that and receive the lessons 
for your pathway forward. Um, so on the side note, you may have felt alone in something or like, I feel as a lot of you, you felt misunderstood. Like no, everybody was trying to be nice, but they didn't understand how it felt, like what it felt like, like how you're feeling. For some of you, it's really feeling lost in like in your journey, like what's next? I feel lost. And people are saying like, everyone, everything will come in divine timing and everything will work out its way. You will find your way. But it's like, sort of the acknowledgement of like I know how you feel you know that is sometimes the power in the healing so that's why this card comes up it like shows you like we are as a team doing this we're working together with you we stand behind you we comforting you and you don't have to do this alone so you're not alone and that's something powerful so watch out for the number five uh five five or just in general fifty five because it does a significant that change and it also is letting you know like hey we're working behind the scenes something is coming on your pathway soon so that's something i'm picking up on let me where's my tarot deck girl i did not come prepared today here we go i'm gonna pick the old the old school deck let's see what you guys got for my air signs the moon that is not <laughs> That is not a card from this deck. Okay. I told you I came unprepared. These two cards are not from this deck. But look what you got. The moon and the ace of cups. And somehow it got confused and it jumped from the other deck into this deck. When it's completely on the other side of the draw. So this is the message. You don't know how good it will feel. You don't know what good things uh, are on the way it will make you feel a lot better so if you are in a space where you're like okay i don't know what's going to happen i can feel something but i'm not sure i feel like not everything is revealed i feel like things are hidden in the dark well soon you will overflow with in like of emotions but also the truth i feel like you are going to be very enlightened about what's truly going on so you have plenty of information if you feel lack of information right now you have plenty of information if you feel lack of finances and you're in the dark with that you have plenty of finances streaming into your life so what you're lacking in right now what you're missing what you are not seeing not feeling right now is something you're going to feel a lot of by the time you know um the end of may so that's something i'm, I'm seeing with these two cards okay now let's focus on what this deck has to offer us <laughs> for you <laughs> beautiful and again i told you sunshine the sun card and i feel like your inner child really gets um to take a stage point in your life and feeling as happy like you know you could used to as a child when you get like the thing you really wanted i don't know it could be a dollhouse from uh, a certain skateboard to roller skates to like the food the dish that you were craving and finally your mom is giving you <laughs> taking you on that trip you know to that certain restaurant or something like that you know like happy as a child can be that's why i'm feeling like your inner child's happy doesn't mean that it's childlike it's like used to feel that sense of joy that sense of like belonging that sense of receiving with gratitude and grace that's an energy that i'm feeling so the sun is illuminating everything and you see when the moon card is here and then the sun shows up that means that everything is hitting in the dark all the things that you're searching for are enlightening being enlightened yeah themselves so the sun starting off bright beautiful with the king of cups okay I'm hearing a song like got to love you got to love you like that song you know i'm not going about to go and sing for you guys today okay maybe another time <laughs> my throat ain't all that today king of cups sun card love emotional stability emotional growth happiness moving from one place into the other but i feel maybe some of you are really like having a deep crush for someone and that's developing and maybe it's the other way around 
maybe you are waiting for someone to confess their true you know feelings for you and they will and they show up as the king of cups that's beautiful with the page of pentacles who's ready to take the next step with you with the page of pentacles beautiful otherwise i'm seeing the sun shining its light upon what you were searching for makes you feel emotionally so much better so much more like grounded and like focused and then you have the page of when i was like okay i'm seeing it now you see what i spoke about in the beginning that desire energy of like that's what i want like i'm sorry the camera got you know cut me off anyway like i said focusing your energy towards one thing um maybe like you know one two three things max but like Everything needs to be in like connected basically to your desires to what you feel guided to. It makes you feel a lot better. It makes you feel focused. With the ten of wands. Yeah, it's like the ending of a tough cycle is here. You're working, you're focused, you're seeing a way out, you're seeing a way forward. You're not afraid to take it up. You see with this um, Ace of Wands energy and this Five of Wands, it's like, I'm going to tune in for a little bit. You're not afraid. You're not afraid to do things that you used to be fearful of or still are fearful of and then take that risk on yourself, take a leap of faith on yourself. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, like, you understand that certain situations are heavier on you in the end than actually doing what you are afraid afraid of and so you can let go of the weight you know when you know you have to do something when you know you have to contact a person when you know we have to do something a lot of times we find comfort in like okay i'll do it tomorrow you know and then you but the weight that you feel of knowing that you're gonna have to do it is sometimes way heavier than when you are actually out there doing it and making that phone call or sending that email or contacting that person or um, take a next course or something like that sign yourself up for something and then just do it and then when you're done it it's like whoa what was i afraid of so i do feel that energy is like you're you're choosing action constantly it's like i'm not going to let this little minor thing bring me off my focus i'm going to put a little bit more energy there like instead of ooh, this is like you know triggering me or this is something in area i'm gonna focus here you know i'm just gonna focus on what i want to eat and i was like okay interesting i'm feeling triggered um i'm just gonna put a little bit more energy there i'm gonna invest there because i see something is happening over there in my life instead of feeling overwhelmed that's beautiful you see with the temperance and the hermit you got that insight you got that in inside of what's the best thing to do intuitively you're very guided this month in the month of may you're ready to really walk a pathway that is authentically to you authentic to the soul the eight of pentacles putting in the work seven of wands and the four of wands so i'm gonna get one more card on that seven of wands here we go yeah the strength card so overcoming your fear standing in your truth standing in your power speaking your truth and not begging down in order to keep the harmony going and everything i'm gonna take a I'm sorry <clears throat> my voice is really acting up these last two days <clears throat> all right um so basically overcoming that and i really feel strongly that you're looking back at the end of may thinking wow really just progressed like i i was procrastinating that's the word thank you <laughs> procrastinating on something and that was way heavier actually than taking the steps and i'm 
ready now. I'm ready to find that balance. I'm ready to feel harmonious within myself. I'm ready to follow that. I'm ready to no longer ignore my things. I'm also, I feel like you're that super focused. Like you had like so much different things going on. You see on this one, so like you have a little um, leaves growing on each and every one. So you got like little things, little in the starting blocks, basically all over the place and nothing really is giving you that sense of satisfaction because it's just a lot at the same time. So moving that energy of all those projects, of all those people into like one person, for example, you're like dating like four different people dating. So like not doing anything, just, you know, talking and like getting to know people. And then it's like, it takes so much of my energy and still not getting anything out of it because nothing is on the, everything is on the surface level. And then you're like, okay, I'm just going to focus on one person that I feel guided to like get to know better, period. And then just doing that without any expectations, without any weight, just putting the energy there. Um, you might feel attracted to more than one person. I'm just saying like your, your uh, sex drive might be a little bit more activated this month air signs like uh you know you're, you're like hey you look good well, well damn you look good too i feel something <laughs> that's a little flutter going on you know because it's may it's springtime for a lot of us not for all but for a lot of us it's springtime so yeah things start to uh, grow and move and and stuff <laughs> so working towards finding a balanced harmonious place is bringing you an equal partner so also if you you already partnered up have that equal balance energy coming back the reason like why you used to connect so well you see with the queen of cups it just makes you happy look at that look how happy you are with the new found ground where you're going to build your stuff on it's just good and you also are allowing yourself to shine your true color even if you don't have everything figured out yet so you're allowing yourself to start something to claim a space for yourself even if you're not like have everything figured out yet you are taking the first steps or you're taking the next steps and it feels good and you're you are capable of telling yourself i'm right where i need to be i'm doing good you're 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 celebrating the small victories and see them just as much as significant as the bigger ones because that actually keeps you motivated and that just overall results in feeling happy emotionally balanced and connected and people are picking up on that energy i do really feel if you're not partner up like the chances are high you're gonna bump, bump into someone who's on the same level of frequency of like oh i'm also focused i'm also like you know excited and emotionally fulfilled with the projects or the energy where you know the things where i put my energy in my life and like someone is so similar to that newfound energy of yours which is a very healthy uh connection and it just happens in divine timing all right i think that that's all i'm getting gonna give you guys for this because mercury is going to retrograde all the way at the end of may so i'm gonna talk about that at the end of may for the june readings i think maybe i'll upload something else like i said feel free to join me over at the pa you know in the pa on the patreon account like as a patreon part of the patreon family <laughs> i'm sorry i'll leave the link down below and um yeah you're more than welcome to join i would love to build uh, a bigger family over there i'm sending you a love and light and um have a good month it looks good. Looks good. I have faith in that it will be a good month for you guys. Bye, air signs. I love you.